Imagine a place where you and a handful of friends can spend time together and leak classified documents because yes, ladies and gentlemen, some moron leaked classified documents on Discord. Again. Yeah, this isn't the first time. Now, we're going to talk about Lazy Airman 7460 or Jason Gray, who has a dark, disgusting secret that we will uncover. But before that, like I said, this isn't the first instance of classified government documents being leaked because you might have heard of someone called Jack Teixeira. Now, Jack Teixeira is a typical Discord user, so a degenerate. And he was a member of the Massachusetts Air National Guard, and he worked with highly classified information. Now, Jack had a couple of buddies in the server called Thug Shaker Central. And let me tell you, when old people were saying this on the news, it was a hot meme. This is, by the way, he formed it and named it Thug Shaker Central. His nickname was OG. Now, how did big boy Jack get caught leaking government documents in Thug Shaker Central? Well, he only got caught because his classified information trickled down to a different Discord Discord user who sent a classified document in an argument in a Minecraft server. Yeah, literally can't get any more Discord degenerate than that. Nah, I'm not oversensitive. And as the best one-up, the Uno reverse card, the plus four, he said, here, have some leaked documents. And that game of Uno played in Discord led to the downfall of Jack Teixeira, where he was arrested at his home, and where is he now? What is big boy Jack doing? Well, Jack Teixeira pleads guilty to leaking hundreds, yes, hundreds of classified US documents. And it is expected that he will receive a jail time between 11 and 16 years. Now to leak government documents, I thought you had to have the mental intelligence of a 12 year old, and it turns out Jack Teixeira is 22 years old. Probably been thrown down the stairs a couple of times, but the 22 year old pleaded guilty to six counts of willful retention and transmission of classified information relating to national defense. Now, Jack, for his uh, little whoopsies of uploading classified information on Discord, he, he agreed to be sentenced to at least 11 years in prison. The negotiation didn't work out too well because they said they would recommend 16 years and an extra eight months on top of that because why not? It's the cherry on top. But big boy Jack could be in prison for a whopping 60 years, assuming everything goes wrong and the military wants to make an example of him, which might genuinely be a thing because let's take a look at our our new classified document leaking Discord degenerate, Jason Gray, aka Lazy Airman, and let's see what treatment he gets for leaking classified documents. Now, Jason is an Air Force intelligence analyst, so he's a nerdy Discord user, and he got put in the Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson military compound in Anchorage, Alaska, where he has access to National Security Agency intelligence, or NSA intelligence, you know, the people that most definitely don't spy on you. But riddle me this, what the f is there to do in Alaska unless you like skiing and camping and doing all that outdoorsy crap. Well, we're talking about Discord degenerates. They don't go outside. And Jason said that he grew disgruntled. So we have an angry Discord user that has absolutely nothing to do to waste his time. So Jason did what anyone does when they're bored. He made a private Facebook group called the CNN Journalist Support Group. And this Facebook group is for supporters of something called the Boogaloo Movement. Electric No, sorry, it's not the hit movie Breaking to Electric Boogaloo, I know, I was excited as well. No, it actually turns out the Boogaloo Movement is an extremist group. And what do these little gun-wielding fellas do? Well, the Boogaloo Movement is a decentralized crypto- is a decentralized ideological network that believes in a coming second US civil war, referred to as the Boogaloo. It espouses anti-government and anti-law enforcement rhetoric. Ooh, they're getting the fancy words here, and I already struggled 30 times trying to say decentralized centralized ideological. Editor, can you just play back me, like, failing to say it 30,000 times? The ideolo- uh, f The ideological- The ideological- The ideological- blah, 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 f Thank you, thank you. Now everyone can make fun of me. Now why are these geezers trying to start a second U.S. Civil War? Because they're angry, or bored or something. And I just want to point out, just like my last video, the comments of this video are going to be filled with conspiracy theories, so say la vie, boyos, enjoy the ride, put on your hazmat suits before you go in the comments. But these boogerloos do exactly what you think. They commit dumb plans that you'd only see in movies. For example, they had a plot to kidnap Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Yo, Steven Spielberg, I know you're watching this. You're an avid Discord user. Turn this into a movie. Thank you. But these boogaloos also did some pretty gross stuff, like unaliving a police officer while in a peaceful protest, and they also did something like, oh, what is that? Bring Molotov cocktails to a Black Lives Matter protest. So taking a step back, we have a dude working for the military that is supporting a group that is trying to pull a Hollywood heist of stealing a Michigan governor, and he just, whoops, accidentally uploads classified documents to Discord. Now, here's the thing. It would have been Facebook, but his ex-wife actually snitched on him and said that he was kicked off Facebook. No, 
Now, what did Jason send on Discord? Are we going to have to pry open Discord and investigate and search every single server? No, because it turns out Jason actually snitched on himself. He was being investigated for his Facebook group, and he said that he used Discord with the username Lazy Airman. And Jason consented to a search of his Discord account by the Air Force Office of Special Investigation Agents. And during this consensual search, the agents identified an image sent in a Discord channel, and the image appeared to be classified and was very likely obtained via Jason. And Gray's access to NSA intelligence. Hey guys, it's me, Saul Goodman. Not no Texas speech, promise you. I am a lawyer, and here's a free legal tip. Whatever Jason did here, never do that. To say this guy is stupid would be an understatement. Here's the thing I want to point out. The image appeared to be classified, which is a little bit concerning because it wasn't classified, it just appeared to be classified. Now, the U.S. military are filled with people that are just great at keeping secrets. But the U.S. military is also filled with people that are stupid enough to send a photo of a firearm that has a silencer equipped. And here's the thing. If you want a silencer on your little pew pewer, you need to register it with the ATF. And you want to know what Jason did? Uh, he didn't. So getting back on track with probable cause, the FBI I went through all the legal stuff they have to do and surprise surprise gamers discord works with law enforcement in fact discord has a whole tutorial for law enforcement on how to find user ids and the funny thing about law enforcement using discord user ids is that if you look at the legal document there's lazy airman's user id right there which means i can just go on discord and i can message him now to be honest i kind of want to make fun of him just for being an idiot leaking classified information and it turns out i can't i even tried pinging the guy and i used Vencord plugins to make sure that it will always work, and it turns out that Discord completely nuked this account. This is very rare. This is something I've actually never seen before. The account is completely nuked. Gone. Does not exist. Now, what rhymes with exist? Twist. And there's actually been a massive twist that I've been hiding from all of you, because it's been plastered all over these news articles, so I've been selectively cropping things. But think of the stereotypical Discord mod. They have all of their e-kittens. And here's the thing. Jason Gray didn't have e-kittens. He had e kiddos because in November 2022 the FBI searched Jason Gray's desktop computer finding what appeared to be this stuff and not just some in the article they said they discovered a large amount of this no-no material and here's the thing discord degenerates I actually have some fantastic news to share with you because Jason Gray was arrested on January 2023 and pleaded guilty to distributing that no-no content and his fantastic reward that he greatly deserves and probably deserves a lot more is being sentenced in November to 60 months in federal prison. And assuming he makes it out of there alive, he has 25 years of supervised release. And he must register on the registry. Anyways, big shout out to the US military for making this video possible, because if they aren't using bodies or friendly villages of innocent people to test weapons, they're sitting back and letting extremist predators in the military leak classified information, because background checks are just too hard. Anyways, something something bootlickers are gonna hate me in the comments, so enjoy the show down there, folks. Anyways, bye bye, I love you! Mwah!